Hey guys, I'm Karina here at Left Field in the Lower East Side, Manhattan, and we're here tonight for the Fox and the King production. It's going to be a pretty awesome night, just checked out the venue. We're going to see some bands perform and it's going to be a great night. So hey, we're here with Sean from Synapses Firing. Hey Sean, how's it going? Hey, I'm good. You having up? fun tonight? Having fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to ask you a few questions. Right. So, what do you... What is Synapsis Firing like? What's it about? What's uh, it? Synapsis Firing started out as a acoustic thing that I was doing. I was in like a metal band, sort of. And uh, in my spare time, I started writing acoustic songs by myself in my bedroom. And that's kind of where the name comes from, Synapsis Firing, because it was all about just let your mind go crazy, write whatever comes to you, not really focusing on technical aspects of the music, just kind of letting it flow, going back to that whole thing. And uh, now it's grown beyond that, and I'm starting to make it a full band with, you know, a, a full actual lineup with drums and guitars. I'm only playing acoustic tonight, but uh, so yeah, Synapses is now an actual band, and uh, it's basically what I do. It's all about just self-expression and being as open as I possibly can, which was never really the approach I took to music. So now I'm trying to really go for something that's a little more personal and more about who I am and you know what I think about. Awesome, that's awesome. So what age did you start writing your music? Uh, oh man, that's a tough one. Well, only because <laughs> I, I started playing music itself when I was 12. I got my first bass. I started out as a bass player. And I've always been a writer. I've always been interested in writing for basically my entire life. My dad's a writer and pretty much most of my family are writers. But uh, I'd say I started writing songs, like these songs, like uh, a year and a half ago. So, I know that's a really confusing answer. But, yeah. <laughs> so you said that your dad was a writer too. Was he one of your inspirations or who else inspired you? Absolutely. My pops is an awesome guy. He's a writer. Um, I don't know. I'd say my, fuck man, my main inspiration is probably like The Who, uh, Hendrix, but also in terms of like contemporary people. I really like Glassjaw. I really like Bryce. Like I kind of grew up in that like, you know, early 2000s, like, screamo emo shit and a lot of people like to kind of disparage that music but i think it's fucking great and i still like it so those are the lyricists that i really like it's like thrice glass show a lot of speed right now sweet so do you have a demo in the works or what's happening in the future for i you do guys? i do uh right now i'm working on a full-length album with my man dave andronico dave <laughs> love you uh and we're going to put that out hopefully sometime uh, at the end of the summer, maybe fall. Don't quote me on that. It might take a lot longer. But, uh, yeah, we're trying to come out with uh, you know, full album, 12 songs, a couple acoustic tracks, mostly full band, and just, like, do it for real. Like, you know, I, I have a little demo, but I haven't put that out yet. I may release it over the summer, just acoustic songs. And then after that, we have a full album and then an EP right after. So that's kind of what we're working on right now. It doesn't have a title yet, but <laughs> soon. So where can we find that music? Where can we find Synapsis Firing? Uh, you can look it up on Facebook.com slash Synapsis Firing BX. There ain't really shit on there right now, but uh, pretty soon we will have a whole bunch of tracks. We're putting everything out for free because it's the internet and that's what we do now. So uh, we're trying to just put the whole album out, have everyone have access to it around August, September, October. Like I said, you know, this is all, you know, not official, but... Uh, Eventually, it'll all be out there. So for now, uh, the Facebook, and then uh, we're working on a website and all that. So Awesome. So we're here, obviously, at Littlefield, but do you have any other events around the city that you're going to be having pretty soon? Uh, not right now. Actually, this is going to be my last show for a little bit. I'm taking a break and uh, working with my guys in the band and uh, trying to get, like, you know the full band ready and then uh, hopefully this summer we'll be playing a bunch of uh, full band shows all over so uh, when I know about that I'm gonna call you guys and awesome. make you interview me again. Alright I'll be waiting for that then. Okay. <laughs> and also you're talking about your music what's the writing process like for you when you um, write it? It depends sometimes in the past I was very cerebral because I was really really into like between the barrier to me and like metal and shit I still am by the way I'm not trying to take anything away from those guys <laughs> but um, so I used to sit and like really analyze theory and really think about the shit I was writing but the whole point of this project at first was to kind of move away from that and kind of go back to like let me just write with feeling and write with whatever really comes to me and even if I don't think it's the best maybe musical idea I'll still go with it if that's what really came to me initially 
So with synapses right now, it's essentially I'll sit in my room, maybe get high, maybe not, and <laughs> usually around 3, 4 a.m., I'm up late and I'll, stuff will start to come to me and I kind of just let it flow. Certain songs I have took like a year to actually complete. Some stuff happens overnight and it's all about keeping that natural vibe and keeping that real feeling because that's the whole reason why I started music in the first place. So it's really all about that, just keeping it extremely natural and uh, letting everything flow, not getting in my own way, basically. Cool. So, all right, I got to ask. So. Kind of a fill in the blank question. Okay. So, if you were to tell your fans, if you want your fans to know something, what would that be? Damn. I don't really have fans yet, but when I do, or if I do someday, uh, I would say believe in yourself. I know that's really cheesy, but a lot of people that come up to me after I play tend to be like, if they're complimenting me, they're also taking away from themselves. And uh, I've reached a point in my life where I kind of just think everyone's awesome. Like I think everyone has like crazy, amazing potential. So whether you're an artist, writer, whether you're not even creative, you just go to work in the fucking morning, like you're fucking amazing. That's what I want everyone to know. Uh, people are awesome. So that's what it's all about. So if there's one thing I want everyone to know, it's believing in yourself and keep being you. Awesome. Well, thanks, Sean, for doing this interview with us. And you guys can find him out on Facebook and check him out. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Excited to hear you. <laughs> What's Vagabond? Tell us a little about you guys. Um, we're a trio. Uh, <laughs> we uh, <laughs> we uh, we are two guitarists and a, and a drummer, and we play. You know, I I don't like to use genres, but you know, I guess you could call us like a folk band, indie band, and uh, you know, we just like to play. Man, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so where do you guys get your music inspiration from? Well, that's our songwriter. Definitely answer that. Re really sad stuff. Yeah. Anything that's sad, you like to sing about it. I like to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And do you guys have any up and coming music anytime soon or like coming out or a little demo or you guys working on it? Anything? Um, eventually. Uh, right now, we only have one song out on Bandcamp. Um, but besides that, we're planning to record sometime in June. Um, I don't know how long that'll take, but right now we only have one song, and then everything we play at our live shows is like all the music we have, basically. Right. Yeah. So you guys said you have that one song, but how's that writing process for that? Has it been like fun um, for and exciting for all of you guys together? Well, we don't really write together yet. Um, I usually just write it, and then they make up their guitar parts or drum parts to it. Um, Songwriting is really easy. Um, if it doesn't come easy, then it's probably not a song that I'm going to keep anyway. So, yeah. It's... Yeah, I mean, Leticia definitely, she spearheads that aspect of this band. And, uh, you know, Aiden and I, I'd like to think we have pretty good ears, so we sort of just, <laughs> we, go by, we go by what Leticia does. And, and uh, you know, we make it happen. We make it work. So, you know, practice. They make me look better than I should. <laughs> yeah, <that's not> <laughs> so, do you guys have any up-and-coming performances in the city or anywhere nearby? 
Uh, we're playing at Ange Noir in Bushwick on May 10th, and um, Friends and Lovers at that's in Crown Heights, and it's on May 30th. Awesome. So when also did you guys start writing, uh, well, performing, getting together and stuff? We became a band in January, which yeah. is like really, really short amount of time. Um, but yeah, but we all mesh really well. Like we just, we like hanging out with each other. So it makes like practice really fun and easy. So it's cool. Yeah. Awesome. Also, so I know you guys are kind of up and coming, but for your fans out there, what's something that you would want them to know about you? So we love music and uh, <laughs> you know we like having a good time so politically yeah. correct answers. Politically correct. Yeah. Unpolitical. We like you don't you wanna like. know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same answer to go. But yeah, we'll go with that one. So. Alright. <laughs> Alright, awesome guys. Thank you so much for answering my questions. Awesome. Thanks, awesome.
guys are here with Be Aware here at Littlefield and they're getting ready to perform soon. Hey guys, how's it going? Pretty good. good. Yeah. All right, so just want to introduce yourselves. Um, I'm Mike and I sing and play guitar. Awesome. Uh, I'm Jason, I play bass and percussion. Awesome. So I'm just going to ask you guys a few questions, you know. So where did you guys, how did you guys meet? Well, the uh, funny thing is that we yeah. are brothers, so we met a very long time ago, <laughs> and um, and I named him after the Red Power Ranger, just to, on a side note. <laughs> I named him, I'm not even joking. Oh, I really? Just that up. <laughs> you actually, so your mom actually let you yeah, pick out well, the name? Yeah, it was supposed to be Mark first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I didn't even know that. Could have been two other That's awesome. So... What is Be Aware? What do you guys do? Like, what kind of music do you guys write? Um, I think it's kind of all over the place, but it would probably easily be categorized by like electronic rock. It's probably the simplest way to put it, but there's a lot of different styles. And um, yeah, I don't, know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he does a lot of the like writing and recording on his own. I just kind of play bass. Yeah. So. Awesome. So so do you guys have a demo coming out pretty soon, or are you guys working on something? Uh, yeah, we actually have our debut EP that's out right now, it's called Piece of Cake. And then we have a single called Red that's also out. And then we have kind of some things in the works that we're not sure exactly what we're doing yet. But we have a lot of material, we're just not sure how we're going to release it yet. But, yep. So I know you guys are brothers, but how did you guys like form a band? Did you, were you guys always into music and that's kind of just what you wanted to do? Or what was it, sorry? Um, started the whole like be aware thing from I don't even know really when it origi originated but uh, yeah he kind of just started getting me into like playing bass a while ago and yeah he's been playing probably as long as long as he's been playing bass like uh, uh, like fluently playing bass he's pretty much been involved in so uh, yeah I mean I kind of wrote the songs on my own and then when it comes to the project, You guys are obviously here at Littlefield today and getting ready to perform soon, but are you guys having any other events in the city? Um, most likely, yeah. We tend to play in the city a lot. We're actually playing in the city. It's coming up Thursday at Mexican Alley Live. And uh, I'm sure we'll play in the city. We have nothing to play right now. So, where can you guys go to next one by music? Everywhere, anywhere. Uh, SoundCloud, Facebook. Ha <laughs> ha